Alright, so hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex from Smiles by Hate, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the new CJB mods because the old mid video that I did is now outdated, so you're going to be watching the new one now. Um, I know a lot of people have had trouble with the last one, and I got a lot of comments saying, oh, this guy's a dick, it doesn't work, and I got a lot of positive comments saying, oh, thumbs up if, you, if, you, if this tutorial helped, and this guy's really good, he helped me. Um, but the majority of people were like haters they were just like people saying oh you've made my minecraft crash look i don't make your minecraft crash you are the one at the controls i'm telling you how to install it and if you do it wrong you will make your minecraft crash you can't go mad at me for making it crash because i'm just trying to be nice and help you guys so if you do that you're just being a knob to be honest so don't do that if, if you do have a problem just feel free to personal message me and I'll try and help you out the best I can, but don't just put a comment saying you made my Minecraft crash, because that's not going to get us both anywhere, is it? It's not going to get you anywhere, and it's not going to get me anywhere. It's just going to make me feel down, and it's just going to make you, you're not going to be able to install the mod. So let's just, you know, work together on this and try try our best to do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your web browser. And uh, if you just go straight to Google, just close my Facebook down. Uh, if you just go straight to Google, type in CJB mods, like that. And then click... On the first link, CGB Mods version 5.4.1, I think it is. And you'll get this, right? This this mod is for Minecraft 1.0 and Minecraft 1.1. Now, if you're doing it for 1.0, you're only going to need Mod Loader. And if you're going to do it for 1.1, you're going to need Mod Loader and Player API. So what you want to do is click on CGB Mods for 1.1 and it will download it. As you can see, I've already got it, so I'm going to delete that off my desktop. And uh, then, once you've downloaded that, click on Mod Loader. It'll uh, take you to a new page, you scroll down a little bit, and you'll see there, Mod Loader 1.1. Don't click Add File, click Direct, Download Direct, and that'll download it to your desktop. Uh, go back and click on Player API version 1.2 or higher. It might be higher when you watch this video, um, and this might not be the same, but just download it from Media File or Dropbox. Um, it might not be version 1.2 or Client 1.2, but whatever version, like, because you might be watching this in the future. So just download the latest version, and you're good to go. Um, that's it. there you go. There, I've got the, got the three files there, so I've already pre-downloaded them. Just stick those over the side so it's easy to see. Right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Minecraft. Now we're going to do a thing called force starting, and a lot of people had trouble with this. Uh, they didn't know what it was. I said, "Oh, what you've got to do is force start your Minecraft." And uh, if the mod goes wrong and your Minecraft breaks, you just need to force start it, and it'll work fine. Um, so basically, this is force start. Options, force update. What done? And then click login. And this will force start your Minecraft. Now basically what this is doing, it's not getting rid of any of your saved worlds or anything. It's just like re-downloading the files for Minecraft. Um, it's not getting rid of any of your worlds or any of your texture packs or saved servers or anything like that. It's gonna, It will get rid of mods and things like that. Um, there you go, there's Minecraft. So I'll just close that down. See, so it hasn't got rid of any, any of my saved worlds. Um, it's just basically updating Minecraft. So once you've done that, you can close it down. Then if you are in Windows 7, you need to go into the start menu and in the search at the bottom put a percent app data percent. That's percent A P P D A T A percent and then you'll get a folder called roaming. Click on the roaming folder and then you'll get a folder called dot minecraft. And the, if you're on Windows XP, there's a few different ways to get into your app data. Just search on search around YouTube and you'll find a way to get to app data if you're on Windows XP or whatever operating system you're on. Um so yeah, to click, double click on .minecraft and go to your bin. Right, you'll have two folders, Minecraft 1.1 and Minecraft. You're going to want to go in the Minecraft folder. You might not have, you might just have the Minecraft one, I'm not sure. Whatever you'll have, you're going to want to go in the folder that just says Minecraft. And you're going to want to right click on it, click open with and win raw archive. Or if you don't have that, choose a default program to do it. Uh, because you're going to want to do this because you need to get inside of it like this. If you just If it's just like a normal... Um, if it's just a normal uh, Java TM file, you're not going to get anywhere with it. You need to put it into a WinRAR file. And if you don't have WinRAR, I'll just put a link to it in the description. Basically, all it is is it's just a lightweight, pe lightweight uh, piece of software that you can just unzip files with and look inside them. That's all it is. So just install that if you don't have it. I'll put it in the description. As well as the links for the other mods as well. Uh, so double-click on your Minecraft folder. You'll get a folder called MetaInf. Right? You need to click on it. Click Delete at the top. Yes. That's deleted. Right, we're going to do the mod loader folder first. This is what you want to do first. So you're going to want to open mod loader. And you see you've got like a few files inside of here. Copy them, except from the folder at the top, and drag them into here. Bear in mind, don't put them in these folders. Just drag it right into here. Click OK. There you go. You're done with mod loader now. You can close it down. Now I need to go into play API, client 1.2. 
copy all of the things in here and put them in the same place. There you go. Okay. And then close this down. So that's these two gone now. You can you can pretty much delete these. I'll just delete them. I'll, I'll just the, drag them off screen. Um, then open up the CJB mods folder or WinRAR file, and then you note you'll notice that you get a few folders in here. Uh, what you want to do is click on put in Minecraft.jar, copy these two files and drag them in here. Bear in mind not to get them over the folders. Click OK. Now you can close down this Minecraft.jar, which is what I've been dragging things into, and now you'll still have the uh, CJB mods folder. Uh, WinRAR, which is on the desktop, you know this bit here. So we've just gone into here and we put in Minecraft.jar. You want to double click this folder at the top to go back, so you're here again. Then just put that to one side at the moment, just minimize it. And you're going to want to go back to this, you know where we got into the Minecraft. Yeah, back here where it says App Data, Minecraft. You're going to want to go into here, and then we went into bin, didn't we, and we were here. You want to go back, so we're just in the Mac.Minecraft folder and you'll have all this. And then you're going to want to go ahead and open up this. Open up the uh, WinRAR file, the CJB mods WinRAR, and where it says put in Minecraft folder, this is your Minecraft folder, yeah? Copy the mods and resources fi file and put them in here. Don't drag them over a folder, just put them somewhere. And then you'll get all this, click yes, yes, move and replace, yes, move and replace, move and replace. There you go guys, that's the mod installed, and just to show you guys, we can actually just go ahead and delete all of this now. There you go guys, I'll delete that and then empty my recycle bin. There you go. I'll just start on my Minecraft so you guys know that this mod is actually working. Um, and I'm not cheating you guys. Log in. There you go, Mojang. Single player, I'll just start on my world. And there you go, you can see if I press the button, I've got the CJB mods and it's up to date. And just, you've got all your items spawning and everything here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode guys. And please give it a like if you if you if um, if it worked for you. And, well, I'm going to have to install NC Patcher again because it's made my water go all strange, look. Uh, but yeah, if it did work, guys, please give the video a like rating as it really does help me out. And comment just saying thanks because I love seeing comments like that. And um, if it didn't work for you guys, unfortunately, um, what you need to do if it doesn't work, just open up your Minecraft. If it doesn't work for you, you've got a black screen or something, just do options, force update, and click done. And then... And then uh, we try and reinstall in the mod. And if you still have any problems from there, just message me and tell me what the problem is. And I'll try try my best to help you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And it's been Alex of Mr. Mars Bar. So peace out.